Tom. Round and round and round we go. Where we stop, only the mummy knows. Ow. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, uh, we beat Gobi Desert Valley, whatever you want to call it, and uh, got the all the jiggies and all that jazz. But there is the matter of getting to the next level. So what we're gonna do is look for a way to get into that next level. Aren't I just so colloquial? I don't know. It's 2 a.m. right now. I'm very tired. Um, just trying to get as much recorded as possible so I don't have to worry about it later. This is like a good place to start. You're right here and there's a mine. It's like an Italian thing. It's a mine. It's a yours. I went over that in episode three slash four. It was Treasure Trove Cove, that's how I know. All right, so in here, we can't do anything. Water's too low. So we're gonna grab this Bokum token. Everything we can, honestly. Basically, if it's not bolted to the floor, we're gonna grab it. Is that where I came from? I need to know the birds and the bees. What hole did I come from? Jeez, this fish is, yeah. Grunty's legs and stomach thin. Goodbye to- That was very rude, Banjo. You know, you could have waited a little while before doing that. As we make our way through Grunty's lair. Look at the face there. All right, let's surface. Ooga, ooga. All right, and we need to go right over there where Big Jaw McFish is. Excuse me, Big Jaw, please don't turn around. There we go. Big joint turn around. Now remember how we get through here because we'll have to know it, know it for later. Yep. There we go. The Mad Monster Mansion. Ooh, it's thematically, it's one of my favorite levels ever. Playing it though, kind of a bitch. All right, so I just wanna check underwater here to see if there's anything I'm missing except for blue eggs. Anything but blue eggs down here? I see blue eggs, blue eggs, blue eggs, blue eggs, and new egg. All right, let's get out of here before Banjo drowns. I love the fact that in this version, the, huh, the different texture on the three. Oh, it's an egg. Oh, the lives are supposed to be the egg texture. Same with the, the, the any, any number, I guess, on here. You'll see it when I get, you'll, you'll see it on the three there. Hurry up, Banjo. It's growing dim. It's amazing how long a bear and a bird can breathe underwater for. I wish this were Banjo Tooie so I can get the uh, the swim ability where I just tap the where I uh, have mash both the A and B buttons together, and then I swim significantly faster. Significantly. Uh, we just solved the Mad Monster Mansion puzzle, right? Yes. So we got to go this way. Alley oop. You're probably wondering yourself, what about that freeze easy peak, Jiggy? What are you gonna do about that? When are you gonna finish Tom vs. Gum? I've got all the answers to those questions, if, except for that last one. Uh, the Mad Monster Mansion, uh, Jiggy, is kind of, is sort of like, it, uh, requires the same, it's basically along the same path, if I, if I may. If I may. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mad Monster Mansion, uh, Gruntilda's Lair Jiggy is, yeah, along the same path as the Freeze ZP Jiggy, so I might as well get them both at the same time. Save some time. Double time. All the time. Tom time. Alright, so I had to open that gate real quick because there's something I need to do in there. Wait a minute, let me just run down there real quick to make sure I don't have to do anything else because I know I have to open the gate, but there might be something else. Nope, everything else, oh, there's a little grunt man down there, but other than that, I just have to open the gate and then I gotta come back here with the mumbo transformation from this level, which probably is the most useless out of all of them, but it's probably my favorite, honestly. Oh, Bottles, I miss him telling me about moves I need to learn here. It's like the Ngobi Valley, not in the last part, but in the part where I got the speed shoes. Anything go back here? No, this is a gate of no return. All right, so first thing you'll notice here is windows and doors. Break them. 
Uh, as, as with all haunted mansions. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. So basically just gathering feathers and whatnot and burning myself on candles. Uh, and these skeleton mans, they don't die. The only skeletons that die are the ones that are in your heart. That's, that was awful. I'm sorry. So in here we got a little dude taking a nap, but he's got a jiggy inside of him. So maybe for a super quiet... Nope. Who woke Napa while he's sleeping? I can hear someone down there creeping. And now that he's awake, I cannot get the jiggy. Try as I might. I think it actually hurts me if I try to do it. Uh, there are some music notes there, but we can kind of come back for that later. This is kind of like the the showy offy portion of this uh, of this area, as it were. What the heck is wrong with Kazooie? All right, over here we have big fat nothing. Basically, we're at the edge of the level. Uh, down here, I guess we can go down here right now. It doesn't really matter. Alrighty. So we're gonna jump up. You know, we're gonna go around to. You know, we're gonna go over to. And then we're gonna run to. You know, and grab all them pretty old music notes. We actually have to come back here later, so I might as well have uh, just gone to what I need to do first. Oh wait, but there's a Vulcan Pokemon there. What you can do is you go invincible. And oh god, oh god, get me out. Okay, well, that's not how you're supposed to do that. You can go invincible, destroy that vine, then get the Bokum Togum inside. Uh, I did it the uh, opposite way of how you're supposed to do it, by just running into him and getting myself killed. So there's that. Uh, beep it bop it be. Aha! Pex! Big Pex! So we come in here. Uh, another seemingly useless room. I'm pretty sure all of these relate more to just getting stuff. So like, I need health, so might as well get health. Need health, might as well get health. Um, a lot of the rooms around here don't really do anything. And if I might be bluntly honest. But uh, it's good to open all of them just in case. It's like, oh, none of these rooms are worth opening. There's, there's some that are worth opening. Some that have, you know, jiggies. Uh, that, oh god. So ghosts. Ghosts are probably the worst enemies in this level. For one particular reason. And that is the reason that uh, uh, they can only be destroyed by gold feathers. And there's one area in here that's a maze. And if you run out of gold feathers, also, also they can fly through walls because they're ghosts. And if uh, you run out of feathers during that section of the, of the game, uh, you're SOL. Because there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. All right, nothing in there. Eggs! All right, these these are weird casks. And that one was already open. Wait, what about this one? I need gold feathers. Yes! Singular gold feather. See, see what I was talking about there? Where, like, the uh, the numbers are, like, look like eggshells? <laughs> this is a pretty neat touch. All righty. Ah, there's some notes. Crafty bastards hiding notes for me? I think not. There's the mumbo house. We don't got to worry about the mumbo house yet but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and uh uh plants need fertilizer so thank you. The, the thank you fuck you uh pots all right as we see here we got living tombstones not to be associated with the living tombstone who is uh thank you. A, one hell of a of a of a music man he did one of my favorite songs uh uh the dog of wisdom remix which goes along the lines of ba, ha ba ba, ha ba ba ga ba ba. If you haven't heard it, it's it's a real treat. You really should. Uh, look up the Living Tombstone, Dog of Wisdom, and you will get uh, you will be blessed to hear the dulcet tones of the Dog of Wisdom singing. Oh, around here? No, not here. Uh, somewhere else. One of these tombstones is gonna. Yep, you. Boop. And boop. you got booped. You got booped! There we go! So now we got all the thank you, fuck you pots out of the way, they give us a jiggy! Ooh. Now there's also this area here. There's Banjo Kazooie looking, excuse me, bat. There's Banjo Kazooie looking, uh, looking window here. You can just jump right through it. Unfortunately, it's also useless. I can see things you need, like feathers and eggs and feather eggs. An extra life, too. So, just grab what you need and then leave. 
we got plenty of stuff, so we don't gotta worry. Oh, I don't want that, that honeycomb yet. Um, we've already been over the honeycomb guy. The honeycomb, honeycomb, you want honeycomb guy. Uh, I think what we can also do here is if we jump onto this tombstone, and then jump over here, and jump up, and jump over this way, we get some notes! Notable notes! I'm going to make a note. Not huge success, though, because our, we, we've just been a huge failure altogether. Oh, you know what I need to do first? I'll do that after I'm done with this. First off, Bokum token in here. And it's like, well, surely you can go higher. There's a clock tower here. You can just be able to go higher. Yeah, you can. You just gotta go past the clock tower bit where you get the Bokum token. Okay, I just gotta be careful here because... Uh... I do, I did a, I've been doing like a, a, a kind of like a side-by-side -side practice run with this. So I literally just did this level and that exact thing happened! No! I don't like this level. I mean, I like this level aesthetically, but I don't like it as far as design goes. Because everything is hard and I want to go home. Or if I were to say that in the more appropriate tone. Everything's hard. I want to go home. <laughs> the, uh, or the infamous... Ow! Like a kid, uh, who isn't really hurt gets quote-unquote hurt. Oh, no! Okay, I'm trying to grab this so I jump off of the roof as well. I didn't do it. Alright, while we're up here, I wonder if I could just, like float down over here. I'll probably get on this hedge here if I try! Okay. Good bad news is that, uh, I did not land on the hedge. The good news is I'm in the area where I can just easily get back up on the, on the hedge. <laughs> this place is specifically for the mumbo transformation, uh, to get back up on the roof. And, uh, fortunately that ramp is there, because if it wasn't, you'd be trapped. Alright, we're just gonna get everything we can from, uh, from the house. I don't know why I left the house area in the first place when I wasn't near done with it as Banjo. And th unfortunately, this is one of those levels where you can do everything as a... Uh, you can do everything as Banjo and then end off the levels of the Mumbo Transformation. So you can do the Mumbo Transformation stuff uh, once you leave the level. I hate these bats. I don't like bats in general. I saw the bats in Austin, Texas. And while, while impressive, I was scared half to death. Ow! Grabby, man. Why are you so grabby, man? Alright, we come over here. There's holes in the floorboards above the ceiling. There's a... Oops, not what I wanted to do. There's a, uh, a hollow honeycomb piece there. But we can't get it. So we're just... Ah, back! So we're just gonna leave. I think the other side is another area that we can't do as Banjo. Those are the only two windows on this floor. Come on, break it open. There we go. Break it open, buddy. Uh, behold the glory of the toilet. All right. Um, there's a living toilet here. Are you getting top of them? I can. It's not helpful. There's much to fat the Lago's mouth. Oh Jesus! All right, well, so you gotta use the Mumbo Transformation to do that one. It ain't pretty. N name me one time with a to Name me any moment that involves a toilet that's pretty. That involves being in the toilet that's pretty. The only thing I can think of is brand new plumbing. That's all I can think of. Ooh, I hear a Gingy. There we go. Jinjo! That's three! Ghost! That's dead! Uh, behind here! <coughs> Golden feather! And that's- ooh, notes! Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing I looked around the room, because otherwise I wouldn't miss those. Ooh, and a Bokum token! Every Bokum token is a good Bokum token. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If someone offers you Bokum tokens, you say yes. I have no idea if Bokum tokens really exist. I'm talking about Mumbo tokens. If there's some new drug out there called Bokum token, don't take it, kids. Do not take the new drug known as Bokum token. Alright, let's get uh, this note here and uh, 
love to run over to the other side and grab a, a, this note here. Oh yes, quite. Alrighty, and we come over here and break the glass. Remember kids, if there's an old haunted mansion, break every window. See, this is one of those rooms where it's like, normally this would be like a useless room, but it's full of notes. So I can dig it, I gotta sneeze again. Oh god, it's coming. Halfway, halfway. <coughs> halfway through with notes. We come over here, there's a shock spring pad here. We go, the hole here. Wee, and then down. And then from there we can get a bogum token. The ow through the fire and flames we carry on. All right, just need to adjust the camera here so I can jump. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so these chairs are definitely helpful. You want to utilize these chairs to the fullest. When you get up here, you want to creep closer to them. Tiptoe. Tiptoe Banjo. That's his that was his nickname in college. Also, you got the jiggy.